Hello, this is Levi. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble your poly Adirondack two foot glider. So we've got the seat here, the two arms, the back, the base, the braces, and the hardware. So we're going to start with the, the seat set up on the ground like this here. It's the easiest way to do that. I'm going to take the arm and I will just lay it right here on top. It should balance. I'll try to line the holes up there. Alrighty, we're going to take a, one of the shortest bolts you've got and a washer. Put the washer on the bolt first, slide it through the hole here, and that should line up with the top hole here on the seat. Just go ahead and slide that through. And then another short bolt with a washer. So we'll line that up as well, the hole there. All right. Now we'll take a washer and a nut. The washer will go one first. And the nut. And we'll do the same on the second bolt there. The washer first and then the nut. All right, now on the back ones here, these take the, the back here takes the longest bolts we've got. So I'll take a, a long bolt and a washer. We'll go on first. We're just going to push it through until it's flush with the bottom, and then the back it will go through the back, the back part of the seat as well. So we'll go ahead and slide that through there, and line that up, and then another long bolt and the washer. I'll line that up. In these, you'll need to take a hammer or a blunt object and use it to, to pound them through until they're flush. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So we'll just flip it up on the side, lay this on top. And another short bolt with a washer. Should go through. And the short bolt and the washer will go on there. Slide that through. Then another washer and the nut. And the same on the other bolt, the washer first and then the nut. Same thing on the back here. Take a long bolt and a washer. Slide that through. Try to line it up there. A long bolt and a washer. Get it lined up there. Use the hammer again to push those through until so they're flush with the bottom here. Set that up. Now we'll attach the seat. We'll attach it to the top here first, and then we'll that'll should hinge there and swing down. It's easier to do the bottom then at that point. Push these back out where they're flush here with the, the edge there. So you should have two bolts left here. Then slide the washer through on first. Put that through the arm here. And then through, it should match up with a hole here on the back of the chair. And the same with this side here. We'll grab the bolt and the washer. Put the washer on first. Slide through there. And then it'll line up with the back. Push that through. And we'll grab the washer and the nut. Washer goes on first. And the nut, we'll just do them hand tight for now. When we get done with the chair part here, we'll go ahead and tighten those down at that point. And another washer and a nut for this side. We'll do the bottom part here. And get that lined up there, then you'll use the hammer again to push that through. We'll use a washer we'll going first, and then the nut again. And the same on that side there, the washer will go in first, and then the nut. And the same on the side here. Line that up. And the washer will go in first and then the nut. And again on the last one there, the washer will go in first and then the nut. All right, it's so now we're ready to tighten everything down here. So I've got two 7 16 inch wrenches. Go ahead and tighten those down. You can tighten those fairly tight. All right, now we're ready to attach the base. We have the base here, we've got the, the hangers here. The front ones are one inch shorter than the ones in the back. So we're gonna put the front ones there like that. And the chair should slide 
right over top of that. Should slide on through there. Pick, pick it up a little bit there to slide it through. We'll grab the, the fatter, shorter bolts and put the washer on first. Slide that through the hole here in the chair. And then, then we'll just pick it up and line it up with the hole in the bracket and slide it through and put another washer and nut on the other side. Let's put that up. We'll do the same thing here on the back. Grab the bolt, put a washer on it, push it through the hole in the chair. And then we'll just line up the hole here on the bracket. And we'll grab another washer and a nut and stick those on the other side. And again, we'll be sure to tighten those up when we get done here. Another bolt and a washer. There's a hole in the chair first. Washer will go in first, then the nut. And one more for the chair here. Slide it through the last one there. Then another washer and the bolt for the nut. So we'll go ahead and tighten all those down. I've got a half inch wrench and a half inch ratchet here. So we'll go ahead and tighten those down. All right, perfect. Now the last step is to attach the two braces underneath the chair here so that it doesn't, for when you're gliding away, it doesn't tip you over backwards. So I've got a drill with a square drive bit. You can also use uh, just regular square screw, screwdriver will work fine as well. And the one in the front will go in horizontally, just like the screws are there. So slide that in and just be sure to keep it flush with the bottom of the brace there. And this one here will go in or vertically, right there. And again, just keep it flush with the bottom. And we'll do the same on the side. So we'll just keep it flush with the bottom here. And tighten them down till they're good and snug. So making sure that it's flush with the bottom again. All right, and there you have it.